most of you know by now, my name is Timothy Thrapp. I'm the spokesman for our World Improvement through the Spirit Ministries. And we've been busy in the work of World Improvement for uh, a long time, basically, a lot longer than most people would believe. But uh, what we're focusing in on right now is the energy situation and getting clean energy out to the people. We're doing a fundraiser. Uh, we would like to, we are planning with this fundraiser to get enough funds to mass produce. It won't take a lot. If everybody does a little, we'll have enough funds to mass produce in a factory that'll put out quantum energy devices uh, that'll run your, run your home, basically. Uh, so everybody pray about it. After you see this video, pray about it and, and do as the Lord's leading you to do. If he leads you to give a dollar, give a dollar. If he leads you to give a thousand dollars, give a thousand dollars. Whatever it is, the Lord's leading you to do. And the Lord will speak to your heart. And what we have here is an older style quantum energy device. Uh, this particular style was developed uh, approximately uh, 20 years ago by our ministry. And uh, you'll see it working. Should I go through all the parts? Yeah, go ahead and uh, explain all the parts. Okay. Uh, basically, we we'll start over here at one end. And this is a variable transformer to control the speed on the motor, the drive motor. And this is the standard drive motor. It's not been altered. Uh, it draws 7.4 amps at 90 volts. That's what it's rated. And so that gives you an idea. You can do the computation see what the horsepower just on the motor, what it requires that motor to run uh, properly. And what's the little... Uh... This is a diode bridge. Okay. And over here we have a variable transformer, diode bridge, motor, a belt that turns the pulleys that goes to the, uh, the rotor of the main generator. Um, we can see it turning, and you can even see through the window. It's, you see the rotor turning in there? Yeah. And you have the, uh, the two main output coils, two main, uh, not the output coils, they're the main uh, vibrating coils, we can call it that. Uh, and here's the capacitor bank here on the side. Um, it's been uh, shrunk down from the old capacitor bank. The old one we had was very, very durable, but it was very big, and people thought maybe there's batteries hidden in it or something. So we try to make this presentable where everybody can understand it, even the people that don't have much uh, background in quantum engineering. And so uh, a few of our volunteers did a beautiful job giving us a nice little capacitor bank here. And uh, here's the, some of the electronics. There's more electronics in this blue box back here. And that's where the switch is on top of that blue box, but there's other stuff inside of it. And also there's, there's electronics in this blue box. And again, the switch is on top of the blue box. And then here's the load. And the load is a bunch of light bulbs that you'll get to see lit up. And the cord uh, basically is set up where we can, we start it with regular power with this yellow cord here. And then we can, we can uh, unplug it once it's working and quickly turn it back to run itself and then light up the bulbs one at a time. This particular device, you have to take it up slowly and take it down slowly because of the way it's built. But they can be built to produce power immediately, large large surges and so on. This We originally had this one putting out 40 kW at one time, but today we'll demonstrate it at about 2 kW or 2.1, 2.2, somewhere in that range. Okay, well let's go ahead and start it up. Mm -hmm. 